happening, movie lovers, film buffs, and everybody else. I am David, the Film Junkie, and I'm going to bring you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm going to find it for you and tell you about it. <sighs> Aren't I awesome? Yeah, I'm kind of cool like that, so let's get started. Well, it looks like X-Men Days of Futures Past, I think that's the subtitle of it. Um, uh, it just wrapped up principal photography, and now there's this rumor that suggests that there might be an X-Men and new rebooted, newly rebooted Fantastic Four crossover. If you guys didn't know this, um, Disney owns the part of Marvel that's the awesome part, which is the Avengers. They own all those characters, um, and pretty much the other characters are just kind of just just owned by Marvel, just by themselves, I believe. So that's why in the Avengers universe, we will not see any X-Men, we will not see Spider-Man, nor will we not see Fantastic Four. If Disney was smart, they'd grab those extra characters and have an ultimate bonanza comic book glory of wet dreams proportions. Did that even make sense what I said? I don't think so. It'd be awesome. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. And speaking of Marvel, remember when uh, a couple weeks ago I talked about how Vin Diesel was meeting with Marvel and everybody was suspecting that maybe he was going to helm the Ant-Man, but it turns out he, it's pretty much 100% true that he's going to be playing the voice of Groot of the Guardians of the galaxy. Yeah, I guess Groot is like this tree-like monster big guy and it seems that Vin Diesel might just be voicing him which is kind of awesome because he's got that deep raspy nasally voice that just oh, I love my life a quarter mile of time. And speaking of the Ant-Man, um, Simon Pegg, if you guys know who Simon Pegg is, Shaun of the Dead, that guy, um, he was actually at Marvel headquarters um, not too long ago and he was tweeting out a bunch of pictures and he tweeted out this picture. That's him pointing at the Ant-Man costume, and some people were thinking, is he going to play Ant-Man? It'd be very likely since Edgar Wright is in fact directing the movie, and we all know that Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg, they collab a lot. They did the Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and of course, uh, World's End, that's coming out this Friday, so that could be a possibility. I mean, we could just be speculating a little too much because he was he did take pictures like with Hulk and with the Thor hammer too, so you know, it could have just been a day at Marvel, but. That'd be pretty awesome though because Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, you get those two together, you just can't go wrong. Let's hope they get together again and touch nerd boners. Sequels and prequels. Ted 2 has been made official by Seth MacFarlane himself, yes. And guess what year it's coming out in? 2015. 2015 is going to be an excellent year because, you know, we get all these movies and finally we get our hoverboards we've been promised since we were kids. No, that's not going to happen because for some reason, scientists, they didn't want to follow the Back to the Future timeline. But yes, Seth MacFarlane did confirm this on Twitter and he's shooting for a Passover release date in 2015 because he's a super religious guy, guys. He just, if you watch Family Guy and everything, you know how super religious he actually is. Reboots and remakes. Well, it looks like Bradley Cooper will be playing Lance Armstrong in the new biopic. That is correct, and he's going as far as removing one of his balls. Yes, yeah, looks like Bradley Cooper is really taking the initiative to get that Academy Award, and he also was quoted saying they just fit better in those tight spandex shorts. Pretty good choice to play Lance Armstrong. I can't really see anybody else. I think that's an excellent choice. So congratulations, Bradley Cooper, and congratulations on getting one of your balls removed. Well, all right, guys, that's all the movie news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you like today's show. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And yeah, follow me on all that crap down there. Well, there's two crap things, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, all right, guys, I'm David, the film junkie, and I brought you some movie news you can find on your own, but I found it for you in the totally shit that long. Wow. Tongue. Tongue and teeth. What's going on? You get the point. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>